Hi all, it's Teacher Janil. You're in for a journalism class today. I mean, like just campus journalism. All right. So we are going to start with writing the news article. So we begin with what is news, of course. When we say news, that is a report of a series of events, usually current. And the question is, how do we write one? So we start with those questions so that you would be able to get help. And I am here to help you out. What I can teach you are the basic. The purpose of this video is to assist you with the basic information you need. So let's start with the components of a news article. Let's have this news article, for example, a news article by GMA News published online. So if it's online, you usually see this structure. It starts with a headline. So the headline that is actually the title of the article, the news, that's the title, the headline. So the byline, that means that is where you'd find the name of the reporter or the writer of the news, Giselle Umbai of GMA News. Then right after the byline, you'd see a paragraph there that is what we call the lead. The lead is the news itself. It's the summary of the news. So if it's a summary that already contains the who, what, where, when, and how. See, it's full packed with information. But by full pack, I don't mean complete. It is just a summary, but it's not complete because we don't see the details in the lead. So talking about the details, the details of the lead are talked about in the preceding paragraphs. And we call that the body of the news article. Now in telling a story or in writing a news article, one must follow the inverted pyramid structure. Why is that? I mean, like, yes, it is inverted pyramid because you started with the summary. So you started with something broad and then you specified it using the details in the order of decreasing importance. So the most important goes first, then the least important goes to the last. All right. So, well, you might be asking, why should we follow such a structure? Well, actually, that is the the normal or the usual way we tell a story. When we talk to our friend, we usually say, hey, there's been a road accident by the crossing. We don't start with the details. We start with what happened immediately. So go straight to the big picture. And then, of course, your friend would ask you, why? What happened? Who, who was hit and stuff and like that? And then that's when you tell the details. That's the inverted pyramid. Another purpose of the inverted pyramid is for the layout guy to actually just uh, cut up the parts where it shall fit the given layout. So it would be safe for the layout guy to just cut parts because it would not be affecting the entire news article. Because, of course, you followed it in decreasing order of importance. That means if you remove that last part, it won't matter that much. So the one that is found, the last part of the news article, they can just be easily caught up without affecting the entire news. All right? Usually when you see news articles in printed newspapers, it starts with the headline, then the lead immediately, and the body, and the byline goes to the last part. Okay, th this was the primary format, the layout that we have seen before the online newspapers came in. Okay, now question, how do we write the news article? What are the steps that we need to follow? Let's talk about it the way I train my students when they write news articles. I ask them to write everything. Well, I'm telling you this one because in, in the real job, there is someone assigned to do the headlines. The news writer do not need to write the headlines, all right? But I need to ask my students to write a complete news article because this is a way for them to understand fully what a news article is. Okay, 
So the first thing you're going to do is write the lead. What is the lead again? That is the summary of the news. It contains the WHs. So who, what, where, when, and how. But it doesn't mean it has to be complete. Take a look at this table. This is based from the sample news article from GMA News. Those are the WHs that might be necessary in order for you to craft your lead. Well, if you think that this information is not enough, so that means you have to go dig deeper, dig more. Because writing a news article is not just like selling pancakes. It's actually hard work. Getting information is hard work. So if you plan on following the path of journalism, you must be someone that is not new to hard work. Your middle name must be hard work. So these information that you have um, outlined, you arrange them to make a lead. Now, just heads up before I'm going to present to you the tips on how to write the news article. When you're going to write a news article, the paragraphs usually are one long sentences. Because when you write a, a news article, it has to be one paragraph, one idea. Okay, so if you have two ideas in a paragraph, you can do that in the next paragraph. So one long sentences. That's the usual, but I'm not say, saying always, usually. Okay? So based from the WHs here, you have a total of 106,125 out of 106 and 174 or 99.95% of the clustered precincts have finished the final testing and sealing of vote counting machines, VCMs, that will be used for the 2022 elections. The Commission on Elections for the Comelec said Monday. So this is your lead. This is now the summary of your news. Okay, now that you have already the summary, it will be easy for you to put the details. But before that, I would suggest that since if you are my student, I would ask you to write the headlines as well. It would be best if you can write the headline. Okay, but if you think that you can write a headline after you have written the entire news article, that will do. But I suggest since while it's still hot, you know, and sizzling, go write the headline. So where do you base the headline from? You base it from the lead. So this is the summary, and your headline is the summary of the summary. Imagine that. The lead is already a summary, so it's a capsule. And you're making a smaller capsule based on that capsule. All right? So you are now summarizing the lead in order for you to have a headline. So the summary of this lead right here is Comelec. You see a column there because this statement is from the Comelec. 99.95% of precincts done with final VCM testing sealing. What's the purpose of the comma there? Well, in writing a news article, especially in writing the headline, the comma serves as the substitute for the word and. So instead of writing and, you put a comma. Okay, 106,125 out of 106 and 174, you do not need to put that in the headline because that is a lot of numbers and that is not easy to digest. Remember, the readers of our news are people who are busy. Their lives are fast-paced. Our news article is supposed to offer them information that easy. So do not give their eyes very hard time looking at the figures. So go for 99.95%. That is much easier to see, much easier to read, much easier to digest. All right. Now, you already have the lead. You already have the headline. You are now ready to write the details. What are the details again for? These details are supposed to discuss the lead. Okay, because, of course, you didn't give anything yet. You just said that 99.5% of the cluster precincts have finished final testing and sealing. That is not a complete news yet. Not yet. 
So to make it complete, we add the details. So if you add the details, who, what, where, and when, and how would not be enough anymore. Because this is what I said. It has to be hard work. That means you need to interview people. If you don't interview people, perhaps you can find similar articles where you can find statements of um, personalities in charge of whatever that is you are writing. So go for interviews, go for statements. Again, when writing details, the WHs would not be enough. So that is why you have here. This is just based from the news article I presented to you by, from GMA News. So you have here a statement from attorney John Rex Lodianko. That's commonly like acting spokesperson. And these are the things that he supposedly said. I was not there when he was interviewed, but I just based it from the article. So these information you have gathered, you are yet to arrange them. Remember, in decreasing order of importance. Okay, the least important goes to the last part. All right. So we have to make sure that each paragraph relates to each other. The next paragraph relates to the one it follows and so on and so forth. There must not be gaps in between paragraphs. So every information relates to each other, relates from the previous one until it fades. What did I say fade? Of course, the level of importance is decreasing. So if it decreases, it eventually fades. The importance fades. And well, the layout guy can just cut it off without harming the entire news article. So I'm going to show you again the full news. Actually, if you look at GMA News, this is not the full news. So like what I said, I can just cut off because it is arranged in decreasing level of importance. This part here, the last paragraph, that is not the last part. But I cut off and it still looks like a news article. No harm done. So as I said, you're going to arrange these information, these details to connect or to talk about the lead. So what you have here are these. This is the result of the arrangement. So in a press conference on election day before precincts opened, Comelec acting spokesperson attorney John Rex Lodianko said four nine precincts have yet to submit reports. If you see there, that is not the first one that is placed in the statement. Okay, so it is up to you as a reporter to make the arrangement of the information. You're going to identify which information is the least important compared to the others. Of this number, 47 were from the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. There were precincts in Socorro, Orienta Mindoro, and Silvino Lobos, Northern Samar, that were also not able to finish the final testing and sealing of VCMs on Sunday night due to the lack of test ballots, he said. Instead of the usual 10 ballots, Laudianka said these areas would be using three ballots as approved by the poll body. Okay, that's it. So this is your full news article. It's complete because we have the headline, the lead, and the summary. Not the summary, the body, which has the details. That's how you're going to write your news article. Well, before you're going to go there, when you're writing, bear in mind, it has to start with the WHs. In order for you to write the lead, then goes your headline and the details use the inverted pyramid structure to successfully tell the story. It's Teacher Janelle, and that's it for Campus Journalism News Writing for today. So, ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.